All right, so um, more about the email reports. Uh, we can send them manually anytime by send now, this button here, and then again, this button only will send the current report that we're on right now. Uh, this this cron job or this command that, it, that it, you copy and paste, if I select it and copy, this will run all the reports every time that it's called. So, um, and you can set this on an automated schedule, but you need to do that through your hosting control panel. And probably one of the more popular ones is HostGator. And so if I log in here to, this is a, a C panel. I mean, I, I, HostGator is popular, but what, I'm, what I meant to say is C panel. C panel is the probably the most popular control panel for websites that there is out there. Uh, but yours might look different than this, or probably does. Or even if you have a different control panel, it doesn't really matter. Almost all of them have a way for you to run scheduled commands, and usually those are called cron cron jobs. And uh, the button on my control panel is way down here called cron jobs. If I click on that, so look for anything that says cron, uh, cron jobs, uh, scheduled jobs, t that type of thing in your whatever control panel you have. And um, what you do is. Uh, you can choose how often do you want to run this command. So this one gives me some options from from popular, you know, popular uh, types of settings. So um, keep in mind, whatever you choose, it will run all the reports and email everyone on those on those lists or those in the settings every time it runs. So do not pick something like every 15 minutes, or you're gonna get a ton of emails as well as all these clients and they're probably not going to appreciate that. Um, I would say nothing more than maybe once a week. You could do, go as something as much as once a day but really um, I think that's pushing. I think once a week is probably about right. So if you select once a week it's going to automatically fill in the commands. So now it defaults to Sunday but um, so every Sunday night at midnight it'll run. But you might want to pick a different day, and in this case, I could pick, um, you know, Sunday, Monday, whatever. Change that if I want. But every minute, uh, and you might say, "Why well, I want it to run at um, different times?" So you could say, "I want it to run at 6 a.m. and I want it to run at 6 a.m. on Mondays, so that it's there when they get get into their office or checking their email." Um, and so uh, once you've done that, you paste in that command that we copied out of our plugin. Here it is. Plug all that in and click the button to add the job. And uh, there it is. So it's going to run this command. And more details about what this command is doing. Um, it is using a command called wget or web, short for webget I believe. And I have it running in quiet mode which means that it's not going to provide any output back to the the cron, uh, you know, the scheduler here. So a lot of times, if you get any output, it's going to save that to a file or email you or you know things like that. You might not want to get those; it's not really necessary. And then it's going to actually call this URL, which is my um, website uh, where my plugin is running, and this is the command to get the reports to run. So um, you would uh, feed that into uh, again this this cron system and this is going to run at 6 a.m. every uh, Monday and uh, again your cron job user interface might be uh, different but the, the principles are the same you pick how often you want it to run and what command the most important things are probably no more than once a week and this is the command you want it to run